everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to keep exploring completing the square. If you haven't checked out this video, be sure to look at that for more practice. And here we're going to do it again. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, to remind everybody, completing the square is the action we're taking to go from standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c, to vertex form, a times x minus h squared plus k, where h comma k is our vertex. To do this, we want to convert our standard form into a perfect square. So we're going to create a two by two multiplication matrix where we're looking to have the same x minus h, x minus h that will become our squared. So we know our first term is an x squared. And so that means that the first thing inside our parentheses is an x, right? There's our x squared. Okay. The next thing we want to check out is the coefficient of our x. It is 16. So half of that, 16 divided in half, is a positive 8. And that is the second thing that goes inside our parentheses. So now we've created the perfect square. Now we just have to complete it to make sure that we're keeping the equation the same. Because watch this. When we finish the multiplication matrix, x times 8, 8x, x times 8, 8x, and there's our 16x when we add them. But finally, 8 times 8, 64. And so we have changed our equation. So we need to add or subtract something to it to make sure we don't change it. So what do we add to 64 to turn it back into negative 1? So we add negative 65. And so that goes here. And instead of writing plus negative 65, I'm just going to call that minus 65. And that is completing the square to convert standard form to vertex form. These are the same. Let's show that they're the same. Let's foil this out. X plus 8 times x plus 8 minus 65. First, outsides, insides, lasts. Firsts, outsides, insides, lasts. Combine like terms, and we are right back where we started. And that is using a 2 by 2 multiplication matrix to complete the square and transform from standard form to vertex form. All right, if you want more practice, check out this video and click on the link in the corner to subscribe to my channel and be alerted when new videos drop so that you can keep on mathing.